down and we're going to introduce everybody going to introduce themselves and then we're going to get into a, a conversation about what b-boying means to people all right so let's start over here with carlos uh, my b-boy name is Solrak. i run with ddt crew and i'm from toronto uh, you know me i'm buddha i'm an old school uh, canadian floor master yeah, I'm B-Boy Heist, I'm a part of DDT, which is Toronto, and Ready to Rock, which is the Bronx. Crazy Smooth, Canadian Floor Master is DDT. Migas, uh, aka Muval, I'm down with DDT, Boogie Brats, Canadian Floor Masters, and Flipside Kings from Miami, from Toronto. Uh, my name's Q, <laughs> uh, Dirty Defined Tribe Crew, and from Toronto. Alright, so here's the topic of the day, right? I've been in this for a long time and I'm talking to some of their old floor masters and some of the guys in our crew absolutely believe that being part of our crew and being a b-boy is what kept them out of a lot of serious shit during their lives and they weren't from like you know they're from some pretty tough backgrounds and stuff like that so I want you guys to flesh that out with your own opinions about what you think b-boying might might have already meant in your life and what what you see it meaning in other people's lives Anybody want to say comment I on that? Start first? I can start out like me, like I started. I'm, I've been b-boying for three years now, and like I've met so many people through b-boying. Like these guys from Toronto, I met some people in New York, and like the way I see it, and now Kenny's here today, and like I look at Kenny, I look at Buddha, and like they're 40, 35, and like they still like they're still young, you know. And that's 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 what it means to me. Like I I'll, I'll always stay a b-boy, and I'll always be young and like have fun and shit. It's like Buddha talking about women and he's 40. I'm like, yo, man, I don't want to, you know, I don't want to end up. My know, wife isn't watching that one. <laughs> that's what I'm saying, one. though. I don't want to end up being like 40 and like, uh, I used to do this. I used to, no, I, I want to still be like in the movement and like, you know, stay young. So b-boying is like, that's b-boying to me, man. Yo, b-boying to me is is bringing everyone from all different places together. Like, it's like a family. It's, it's even better than being in a gang because when I was younger, I used to, we used to beat up kids and just, I used to be a troublemaker, obviously, you know what I mean? I still am, but I just, I just think that it helps people out, man. Like, people meet each other, they, they have the same vibes, and they help each other, and they work shit out, and keep keeps like, it real. There's, there's a lot of aggression, too, though. Like, we're still b-boys, we're aggressive, and it's, like, competitive, you know? But, like, it's on the dance floor, so that's what's positive about it, you know? If you don't like someone, you just take them out, and you make it, and making the guy look bad in the circle in front of everybody is, like, almost better than kicking his ass, you know what I'm saying? Way better. It's like, yeah, he's man. like, he's like, he has that face, and he's like, yo, I'm getting dissed, man, and, like, everybody's looking. Yo, my girl's here, man, my, my dad's here, you know? So, like, you just make him look bad, and it's positive in a way. That's what I'm saying, man. Anybody else? Um, okay, I think b-boying to me, like, a lot of the time, if I do something good and people give me uh, some good feedback, positive criticism, I feel like good about myself, and like basically like that's what I like it for. Like if I do a good move, I'm practicing, I know I accomplished something. Maybe like maybe not towards. I don't have to do anything violent. You know what I mean? It's it's free. You know, like I can enjoy, it, I can express myself. Like, <laughs> wicked way, you know? Yeah. yeah. Word. <laughs> See, I, I look back on us, we, we had some guys in our crew, they were from like single family, moms, you know, raising them, yep. yeah, no dads, yeah. no Just big like brothers, us. maybe mom was an alcoholic, yeah. welfare involved, oh, you know, not that everybody's from this background, but there's a variety of backgrounds, the and it's tough, are, man, you know, that, that. some of our guys were always in trouble, they were, they were going to be put in jail, there was no question, right, but we put responsibilities on them, if you want to be a floor master, it meant practicing, it meant commitments, it meant you couldn't let down the crew by not showing up for a gig, you know? So to me, it's almost like it forced them to grow up yeah. in a lot of positive yeah. ways, right? Sure. For me, before I tried everything, I learned about, like, before I learned about all this that's going on right now, like, I had stuff that was keeping me out of trouble, but it wasn't keeping me out, like, you know what I mean, full percent, like, because I didn't have to, like, all the time and effort to put into it. It was just stupid shit that was hanging out and, you know, just causing trouble and doing stupid things. And then as soon as, like, I saw B-Boying, the whole thing just flipped me over and like after that it was like every day 24 7 like that's my focus all my energy's in that my expression yo i get all this like all this anger that's inside of me just out yeah. when i break it man it feels so good everything that's and when inside. i'm done it's like i'm so tired right it's like i, I feel like i achieved everything in life you know what i mean it's, i just express myself to the fullest at the same time i was amazing myself you know what i mean it's just like when you do a move that you've never done before this feeling inside of you it's like you can't express it it's just like yo yeah that's the shit you know what i mean it's just the baddest thing you can do and that's to me like b-boying is like me b-boying just everything man it's all i you know i think like to me 
and again this is sort of looking back because I've been around for a bit but it's like it's like finding your own spirit and spiritualism you know like some people they get off and they canoe and it's wilderness and shit that they <laughs> tell them to shut up with the noise anyways um, you know they get you get spiritualism different ways but dance is a powerful deal right you know what it's like when you close your eyes and you just feel the passion and feel the beat plus you're getting props out there you know it's it's like every some people go through their whole lives they're 80 years old and they never found spiritualism yep you know and you need it I think you need it I think you need it I think not only is it the moves itself but the music involved I said it just brings it to another level itself. Like together, when you put it together, it's like I don't know how to explain it. It's like it just it just connects. It's spontaneous yeah. like, and when you, it's so when you bad. Practice, when you practice and like you're alone and you're hitting every beat and you're on the floor, the feeling is so it's like you're high. Yeah, it's like it feels like know. you're glowing or something. And when you're like doing that footwork, you're freestyling too. When you're freestyling on the floor, you do a move that you never even thought of. You just did it, man. Yeah. It's like boom, it just happens. You're just like, you, you can't even think back to what just happened, you're already on the next shit, and it's just, that's all this it's bad. It's not just moves, it's a feeling, man. Yeah, it's the way you feel everything. when you do it, man. Now, just, now, what do you guys think about, like, to me it was a real honor for me meeting Ken Swift, right? I mean, he's, he's one of my idols. I've got lots of idols who are in, are in the old school game and stuff. It must, and Migas, I mean, you get to travel all around, you've met all kinds of cats and stuff. Um, do you think they play an important role in yeah. terms of role models definitely, and people to look up to? Definitely. Definitely, because if it wasn't for Ken Swift and those guys, then I probably wouldn't be dancing. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah simple you know what as I mean? that. Ken That's Swift it. kept it real from, like, day one. Like, he, he saw, like, b-boying evolve, like, you know, into power moves, like, but he kept it real, like, yeah. always footwork foundation. He always kept it real, so it's like, for him to be here, it's like an honor, man. Not only, like, his he's, style, too. He's bad, man. He's just bad. He's just like us. He's just an older yeah. us. Just exactly. like how Buddha is. Just, just like how, man. Just, you know what I mean? All the old school heads out there. He's bad. He's bad. My deal is I want a windmill when I'm 60. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it, but that's you the, will, that's the goal I'm going for when I'm 60 with the grandkids, you know, That'd at their at their wedding or something. What I find funny is, like, I don't know how to explain it. It's like, sometimes you don't even know people and, like, we all think the same thing about yeah. b-boying. It's, like, weird. It's like, you go, you travel around, you go to Montreal, some people think that way, but, like, sometimes you meet people and, like, we all think about footwork and foundation and dancing, you know? And like it's like a connection before we even met we're like friends you know exactly like, we think we think alike it's i don't know how to explain it it's just like it's real that's what it is it's pretty cool when you got something in common with guys you otherwise maybe would never have met right yeah, and even yeah. this is the to me this is the multiracial deal exactly. too right it's like that helps i don't care if the kid's latino or black or hispanic whatever right Purple, man. it's it's man yeah, you, you no barriers you get to meet them and you got this automatic connection because you both understand passion you know what I mean about about what it is to dance and stuff and now more than ever man this thing is international right I mean if you guys ever get to go to Japan or something you got hooks you know you have people to hook up with because like what's so good about b-boying is when people make it their lifestyle like something that you make a part of your lifestyle something that makes you feel good me personally like dancing the music you know what I mean before, man, it took me like two years to learn to dance and to feel the soul, you know what I mean? And Migas and everyone helped me, you know what I mean? I learned from videos from guys like Ken Swift. If it wasn't for those guys and my friends and practice, you know what I mean? And just staying out of shit, like, I know Q and Migas for sure were, were fucking like bad kids, you know what I mean? They had a lot of trouble and stuff. <laughs> but if it wasn't for b-boying, in all honesty, a lot of people would be doing a lot more stupid things, you know what I mean? Yep. And b-boying has, has saved a lot of people, man. And when you dance and you're having fun, you know what I mean? You just, you, you, you're, you're just... That's, that's the freest thing you can do because your soul is, you know what I mean? You just feel it and it comes out, the music and everything. And people who don't really understand that, who don't dance, they're really lacking something if they're in b-boying, you know what I mean? To be in b-boying, you really need music, you know what I mean? And the whole thing for b-boying makes me feel good. I get to express myself, you know what I mean? I spend money to come to go places. I've been to New York, Miami, Los Angeles. I haven't gone overseas yet, but like I hope to do that by the time I finish, you know, b-boying and everything because it's just it a total ends, experience. You know, man. It, it never, never ends at all, blur, ever. Yo. Exactly. 40 years old, hold on strong. I called this guy, I was kind of nervous, I didn't know. Should I call this guy? He's like, someone told me he's 40 years old. I would feel uncomfortable it's calling like him. like a dad. <laughs> you know what I mean? I think my dad's like, you know, my mom's 40, you know what I mean? And I'm thinking, dad. He can't have nothing in common with me, so b-boying totally breaks down barriers. Especially when you think you couldn't talk to someone who's 40 years old. It just everyone bonds together, man. Yeah, black, so I'm white and native Indian. He's black, he's black, he's white, he's Spanish, whatever, you know what I mean? We all get together and we all have one thing in common, and that's b-boying. It keeps us out of trouble. And it's the best thing in my life that I know right now, man. It's like another sex, thing, you know another thing. It's top of the line. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
shit, nigga. Another thing that's good about b-boying is like one of the elements of hip hop culture, you know. And like to be a b-boy is like you contribute to the hip hop movement, you know. A lot of people, like a lot of people around here, like think that hip hop is like a dress code or you have to act it out. But be, like to be a b-boy, you're in hip hop and you participate to the hip hop movement. There's like DJs, MCs, like uh, graph writers, everything. But to be a b-boy <laughs> is really good because you can participate to the hip hop. When you're one of the elements, you know. Most most MCs though out there, they always forget about b-boys, man. Yeah, yeah you know that's I mean? the exact B thing. B-boys are are people who who MC, DJ, and like listen to everything. Yeah, they, I and, think yeah. we give all the elements. Yeah, b harder than most. B-boys yeah. really, yeah, the they're yeah, yeah. We are the culture. You know? MCs, MCs forget about us. They. You know what I mean? They yeah. don't. They don't I, mention I, us. I, they don't say anything about us. Actually, and the graphers too get like forgotten about, and and it and well, the DJs obviously get me like recognition, but exactly you said. The only reason I got into b-boying is because a lot of MCs and stuff like that. It's more of a stereotype. You know what I mean? You got to be like a black guy. You got to be from New York. You know what I mean? And that's how you express yourself, and it's become a money issue. And with me, b-boying is what it's about, man. I don't have to spend money. I can dress how I want to dress, act how I want to act, do what I want to do. Exactly. MCs, it's, it's become a thing about how you have to dress, you have to look. I you can go and be boy and whatever I want. Yeah. You know what Except I mean? The real MCs, man. Yeah. There's, you can't diss no, 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 MCs because there's no. real MCs, but b boying for me is more of an underground. You know what I mean? And I don't want to be that person trying to be like everyone else. b boying is my own personal expression. You don't know what it's like when you're in a circle, the lights are low, you're breaking in front of someone like Kenny and all your boys, and you're just going and you're dancing. You know what I mean? You're not trying to put on a, you know, you're not front, you're just doing your own personal expression. Well, your personality, your style, your character, Character, but you know everything is your own personal expression of what you want to do and I noticed too like b-boys we contribute and we participate to every other element but yeah. like when there's a b-boy event what do you, you don't see MC's you don't see uh, DJ's coming to like our events and shit like I passed out flyers like to these MC's and they like I don't break so I won't go you know exactly. I don't MC I Yo, don't b-boy events I have go, all that man. though b-boy yeah. events have MC'ing they got graphing like a graph section. It's the most, it's the they got the like poppers and lockers. They got they, they got everything, man. They even Beat represent blocks, other whatever, stuff man. that's martial that's arts, that yeah, martial arts, yeah, even man. skateboarding, all that stuff. Like whatever's just you, they represent. Basically. Whatever's yeah. personal expression, man. Yeah, whatever's man. your own style and your own expression. That's you know what I mean. So skateboarding is similar in a way where you're doing your own tricks, your own style, your exactly. own. You can do everything. Exactly. It's just like footwork. You know what I mean? It's your own personal style. They can get people out there who like. The copycat, they bite where it's not their own original moves. Like they see someone do a move and they do it, and you're really faking yourself if you're in b-boy. You know what I mean? Because you're not. It's not your own personal expression. You're looking at someone else's style and someone else's creativity, and you're taking it. And that, to me personally, is what kind of holds b-boying back. Because everyone just gets into flares, everyone just does head spins, and it becomes a repetitive routine. You got to be original, and you probably have some clips of people doing mad original stuff. And you can learn, but you have to use your own style and creativity. If you see a move, you just can't come in and do I want to do flair or I want to do this you got to come in with your own style your own flow because everyone exactly everyone's foundation and creativity has a different understanding of the beat and music you know what I mean? so you, See, I, I, you know exactly. one of my little theories is that being a b-boy through all the stuff that you do is like if you're 15 years old right you don't really know who the hell you are you're trying to sort that out you're you know, some people go well I'm gonna do crazy mohawk hair I did that stuff right and I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna do that it's experimenting when we are like say 15 to 20 or whatever and then you sort of figure out who you are but b-boying to me is sort of a safe way to experiment in different ways and figure out you know well this is where my spirit is and dance is important to me and friends are important to me and bros you know and a crew is important to me and knowing that someone's got my back is important to me family that's all it is it's just it's just you know what I mean it's all brothers if, if there's girls in your crew they're like your sisters you know what I mean that's how it is you know I think it's a lot like a gang without any of the negative yeah, shit. Exactly. You know what I mean? Because why do people get involved in <laughs> gangs, right? They get involved because they don't have a dad in their life exactly. or whatever. So their family becomes their gang, right? Yeah. Well, this is our family, but we don't have to do the other horse shit that's going to get you locked up, right? We're not in a we're not we're not in a family through a negative problem. You know what I mean? That's what makes b-boying better. You know, it really helps out a lot of people. A lot of people join a gang 
because they got nothing else to do. So it's just a bunch of people with negative attitudes together, but b-boying are people expressing themselves with their own personality and getting together. Like we're all from different areas all over the, yeah, like the, the world. Family, exactly, right? and we're just all a family, and we all get together, and we're just positive, doing positive stuff, and that's why b-boying is is positive, and it's it's underground, and that's what's good about it, because if it becomes a commercial thing, then it's going to get negative through that, yeah. just like emceeing has become negative. Exactly. Yeah. One, one one thing that that I worry about though is you know like we understand why we do what we do, and we're family. But I don't think we get the props and our sand from the bigger world. You know, I worry about you got your 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 father in suburbia sitting and going, oh damn, you know, it's just like what happened in Venice Beach, right? They see a whole bunch of b boys together, they get nervous, they call out 400, 400 cops or something, right? Whereas that was nothing but a positive thing, you know? I didn't I, I didn't understand that at all, man. That really got me mad, though. It was crazy. It used to be like that back in the day, though. You get arrested for dancing. Right? <laughs> that's that's, that's silly. right. So instead that's of silly. instead of trying to understand it and go, you know, you should be thanking us that we're doing this. We're taking our own control could be because we could be house, we could be trashing shit. We could be <laughs> yeah. taking anger out elsewhere. And you know, well, what? Where's the money? Where's the support? You know, when we got the bus to go to New York, that was one of the first times I really felt like a corporation gave a rat's ass about about people you know exactly. with no conditions they weren't going oh you gotta you gotta do five shows for free yeah, and yeah, do a TV commercial exactly. for us and then we'll give you the bus right no I think society should support it just on the merits of what we do is 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 important definitely but I think we have to speak out louder about that because like we're Everybody here understands it, but we, we're just talking to ourselves, man. We have to talk to other people, let them know this is an art. This is like, you know, this is b-boying. This is what we do, and it's positive. What I, what I feel about that is if if people tr if we try to bring it to the, the mainstream and more like bigger and stuff like that, what's going to happen is that's how negative gets into it because people see that it's going to make money. It's going to help you out. You know what I mean? You can you can use that to get to being rich. And b-boying for me personally is we should I think it should stay the way it is. You know, maybe have a little bit more shows and and you know, more respect and stuff, but if we bring it into the mainstream where yeah, TV gets and stuff, it's, it's right. that's why I talk to Chase Legs from Rocksteady and Crazy Legs says I go, "Well, what about they should have a show on much music and stuff?" And he goes, no, 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 we gotta keep it underground because it's an art. What happened in the early 80s was it got exploited. It got, the TV got a part of it. People, they just started getting people off the street who don't really care for the dance or the, or the music or the feel and the soul of it and it just became a commercial thing. Going, they're making TV shows. These guys are gonna dance for everyone and, and entertain you, you know, and then, you know, just, just not gonna dance because dancing isn't for everyone in the mainstream, you know what I mean? That's why we gotta keep it underground. Not even underground, we just gotta keep it to where we can have people come together. We don't need yeah. to bring people who don't belong in it, you know what I mean? If it's a part of you and it's what you are, then you can come into it because you're easily accepted as long as you just, if you're a b-boy. Take, yeah, I mean. take our own power back, right? Yeah, exactly. You know, it's like it's like you get the magazines and the record promoters who don't know anything about it, but they're they're thinking, what's the cash. dollar value for me? Exactly. What's the cash money, right? Yeah. So, to me, the events I respect are events put on by people who dance themselves and understand the scene, right? Exactly. That's what I want to support. Yeah, that's yeah. what I want to support too. Yeah. Events are ill too, because like that's when like you get to go chill with like your friends and stuff you haven't seen for a while, and it's always good seeing like you know what I mean, like just yeah. hang around, yeah, just hang out with your friends that you never seen and shit that you're tight with and. You know, people live in different areas for like their own reasons, right? So it's a good thing that you get to go and like hook up with people. Now, one last question, and then, we, and then we're going to roll on something else. But I'm, I'm trying to get my head around. We're interviewing B girls too, right? On how it might be different. I want the, your guys' perspective on how you think it might be different for girls, right? Because for guys, I think I think we grow up and we don't have, we don't get taught really how to deal with anger. You know what I mean? That's the that's why you know abuse happens and stuff because guys get pent up anger in the way you usually punch out and stuff, right? Whereas girls, they handle, they learn head games, they learn all kinds of different ways of dealing with anger and stress and frustration, right? So I'm wondering how that's different, what you guys think, because we're asking B-girls too, but about why B-girls want to be involved in the scene, right? Uh, I think, like, girls, it's like, they go in a circle and they'll fall, fall on their ass and everybody will cheer, man. I think we should treat girls like guys. They should be, like, working hard and, like, trying moves and doing, like, the, the real b-boying, not just, like, going in, doing the splits or, oh, cute, wow, you know? Don't, it's, b boy isn't cute, man. You have to dance. It's like, you know. Yo, I don't mind them thing. coming in the circle looking cute, though. No, for real, but I'm <laughs> saying. <laughs> all right, all right. Breaks the monotony of the yeah. event. Yeah, yeah but, but we have to treat them like guys, though, man. They have to Like, there's some b-girls that are out there, but 
majority of them, like whatever to me. So like it's cool when they go in and stuff, they're trying and stuff, you can see it, but there's a lot of groupie girls too, man. They're just in it because yeah, you know their boyfriends in it, stupid no, you, shit like that. No, do you think it's just gotta be because in the old days there were hardly any. There's more B girls now than there there were ever. Yeah, of right? course. I think that they gotta get their own power and figure out why they're doing it themselves. And exactly. I don't I don't know if they really discovered that yet. It's not that I'm down for maybe they are in it for different reasons. Maybe they're in it for the same reasons some guys are, but yeah, you can never. But that's we don't know. Yeah, no, we don't know. It's the same that shit. <laughs> it, it isn't because they're girls that be going to you know? It's people, man. We're people, man. It doesn't matter. You know what I mean? This, this, this is the label. Like, yeah, they are different, but they're people. But why, why can they not come up with their own styles and stuff? Oh, right? they can. They can. But like, like guys, you know, you can come up with your own style, but keep the foundation, keep keep the beat boy in your life, man. Keep what the I dance feel is part of life. when a lot of girls go in a circle, like like how I was explaining, like when I dance, I'm really expressing my body. I'm just doing it ways that you know what I mean, make me feel good and hit the beat, and that's like part of it. Now, when like a lot of girls go in, is are they really? Is that what they're doing? Are they doing it for how they feel and their personality? I, I'm not too sure. You know, I mean, I see some girls that will just go and do a routine. Like I don't, I'm not sure if they have the flow, or if they are flowing. Like I don't know if it's a different between guys and girls have different physical structures which they obviously yeah, do yeah, yeah, it so is, we have to understand what is the level you know what I mean what what is the level if a girl goes in and does a certain routine that is not comparable to other guys you know what I mean are we supposed to like slack on them or are we supposed we, to give them respect we shouldn't take pity for girls either man we should be able to battle <laughs> girls man yeah, 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 or, no, yeah, honestly though true, to me like I give respect <laughs> like I'll give respect to a girl she doesn't know who's man if she doesn't then Whatever like to guy, me, you know? it doesn't Yo, matter. There's girls out there that that are dope. Yeah, well, there's there girls out there that are so dope that they could take out guys, man. Yeah, that's, that I that's know. What I miss. So there's so there's no reason why any girl couldn't. You know what I mean? I knew a girl in 1985 called Bubbles in England. She was doing flare to mill to head spin. Yeah, there's back there in 1985. You know? There's girls now that are doing that head spins, flares, yeah. ill b boy tricks like just like just strong yeah, like this. You know what I mean? They got style and they got they know how to handle their body and they got finesse. But yeah, but there's guys out there that are